Hi everyone! So I'm here today with Rosie from Hi. Not Even French and she did a video that we posted that was about the 10 things we wish we would have known before dating Frenchmen. And I got a lot of comments on my blog that people would like to know the more positive sides of the things we enjoy when dating Frenchmen, which is kind of funny because we didn't plan on the video being like a really negative video, but naturally the things that kind of the things we wish we would have known are often things that create a bit of tension yeah. in relationships. Yeah, they're the things that make us laugh as well. I mean, it's not, even if it comes across as negative, it's all in the name of fun. <laughs> so we decided to talk about the 10 positive things about dating Frenchmen. The things we love about Frenchmen. So we thought that this would be the perfect video to put out today since it's naturally February and the month of love and all of the reasons why we love our Frenchmen. Exactly. It's the 14th of February. Happy Valentine's Day. If you haven't seen our video yet already talking about the things that we wish we knew before dating Frenchmen, you'll know that we're not really celebrating much today. <laughs> so <laughs> so um, we will celebrate with you and we're sending our love your way. Happy Valentine's Day. The first thing that we noticed pretty quickly when dating our Frenchmen is that there's a lot less ambiguity. And so what do we mean by that? We mean that you know pretty quickly if they're into you, um, there's not this kind of ambiguous moment where you're like, are we together? Are we a couple? Are we not? Yeah. Because when French people enter into relationships, you know, whether they last a long time or not, it's exclusive mm -hmm. and you know it, you know, straight away from the moment you kiss, basically, you're together. Um, so you don't have to play these games where you're like, are we dating? Are we more than dating? Um, is he seeing anyone else? And that was something that I really enjoyed. It was just straight away, easy, no mind games, nothing too crazy to overanalyze. So the second thing that we really love is PDA. So I would say in the States, at least most guys aren't as into PDA. We kind of shy away from showing too much of our emotions around people. And Robin, who could be considered less PDA is still hand holding and there's lots of kissing going on and there's just in public no one's really too shy about that. We weren't teenagers growing up in France but something that I really find funny is in summer in Paris you go to the parks and you are going to see 15, 16, 17 year olds, you know, laying on the grass together, making out, and nobody seems surprised by it. There's no weird looks, there's no mm -hmm. stop, that's inappropriate. It's just very accepted. Exactly. You can kiss on the metro. It's, it's completely normal, actually. Um, and I really like it because in New Zealand, our boys tend to be quite blokey and quite macho. And they don't necessarily do the PDA thing yeah. because it's like, it's vulnerable, you show your emotions. They may even get teased for being whipped, which means they're super into their girlfriend. <laughs> and you know, it's, it's, it's sort of seen more as a negative thing if you're, if you're doing that with your girlfriend. It makes you come across as weak or emotional, which is totally yeah. not the case. There's no stigma like that really in France. The third one naturally with me has to do about alcohol. Men can really appreciate a good cocktail. I really come from a country of beer. Most guys are beer drinkers. Maybe mm. you're going to get some whiskey drinkers when we're talking about hard alcohol. But there's not very many men who go up to a bar and they want to order a mojito <laughs> or they want to order like a cosmopolitan. And I find in France that that's not the case for everybody, but that certain men can really enjoy like feminine drinks. And and so I always thought when I was especially dating French guys that it was fun to go and sometimes order the same drink and enjoy the same kind of girly cocktail together sometimes. Yeah, it's, it's nice. The French boys don't tend to be sort of easily emasculated no. like the boys tend to be so in New Zealand anyway. They'd get so teased if they ordered a Cosmo yeah. at the bar. Oh my gosh, their life would be not worth living. <laughs> We obviously couldn't do this video about the things we absolutely love about French men without mentioning the accent. Oh la la. Oh la la. The French accent. <laughs> obviously accents, you come to France and honestly whether it's a girl or it's a boy speaking, it's just really cute. But when you're interested in someone, it takes on a whole new level of sexy. Mm. Um, but something I've learned with Robin after a couple of years, I don't hear his accent anymore. So I think it's... I'm, sometimes it really like pops out on one certain word or it's really noticeable like when he's drinking maybe but you almost I hate to say it but you get used to hearing like this mm. really sexy accent I mean it's still sexy but um, I don't even know what Robin would sound like as a 
Yeah, I, I still have my moments where Nils is on the phone, for example, to his family, and he'll be calling his grandmother or something, and I'll be there like, Row! Oh, yeah. <laughs> you sound mm. good. Mm. Yeah. You sound so nice right now. And it's, I mean, he's just this beautiful uh, accent and his beautiful French language, and I just love listening to him. But it's true that sometimes you take it for granted yeah, after totally. it's been Thank here a few years. Um, so the fifth one that is a really big one is the fact that our French men are very well traveled and very well cultured. So it's something that I love about dating Robin because I feel like I'm learning something new all the time mm -hmm. because I don't necessarily come from, um, I guess, a region in the States or a place that we put a lot of emphasis on culture and going to the opera and seeing ballets and going to the theater. Mm -hmm. For example, both Niels and Robin did their Erasmus in Sweden, so they lived there yeah. for six months and I just love hearing the stories about how they didn't see the light <laughs> all day long in the winter and the snow was this high and yeah. it's just interesting when they've, um, because they're in Europe and they've they've grown up in Europe they've been able to see so many things yeah. and it, they've got so many stories to tell one little extra that I wanted to add about the things that I absolutely love about Frenchmen is that in general they tend to have a really good relationship yeah. with their mums and they seem to really be very close to their mums and love their mums a lot and show them a lot of respect um, I love going down to the south with Nils and he'll be asking his mum can I help set the table do you need yeah. anything can I get you a drink etc and my mum always told me to see how a man treats his mother as a kind of predictor of how he'll treat you in life. And I think that's quite true. I think if you grow up absolutely loving and respecting this, this key woman in your life, you're able to do that with yeah. your partner, your daughters, your, your other family members, etc. So I think that's something really nice that, um, you know, sometimes we can tease boys for being mummy's boys and mm. needing their mummies and everything. But I think there's definitely more pros and cons. So yeah. I love the fact that dating a Frenchman means that they are so used to this natural look, um, you know, not needing to get dressed up all the time, not needing to put on a lot of makeup, not having to do a lot with my hair. Mm -hmm. And so Robin really appreciates how I look, like, maybe not exactly when I wake up in the morning. <laughs> I can put a little bit of cream or something. But, but after two hours. Yes. <laughs> that he's not really expecting me to do maybe as much effort mm. into what um, I used to do to get ready for some of my other boyfriends who weren't French. So he's just as happy with me um, yeah, with a little bit of face cream and maybe a touch of mascara and I brush my hair and we're good to go. Mm. And I used to take a lot longer to get ready. And so the fact that he just genuinely likes the way I look naturally is also a bit nicer, I guess, for self-esteem. Yeah, <laughs> it's good for the confidence because yeah. you, I don't know, I was used to really like putting on a lot of makeup and doing yeah. my hair and stuff just to kind of emphasize the, the little that I did have kind of thing and Neil seems to really appreciate the natural look so again um, I agree with Kate completely it's so nice when you go out to lunch or something and you just brush your hair and you put on a bit of mascara and he's like oh you look perfect let's go you know and it's it's like oh it's yeah. a nice little boost in five minutes yes. yeah exactly <laughs> a nice little boost of confidence there so it's nice to start to embrace your makeup free face and just appreciate the way you look naturally yeah. huge the next one was a huge adjustment for me coming from the u.s to france um people here and french men are more well groomed i would say put together every single time they leave the house u.s guys can absolutely be put together for certain occasions but I could go to the grocery store in my pajamas I could go out in sweatpants mm -hmm. I could live in my workout clothes and that was a hundred percent acceptable mm -hmm. in the US and maybe in New Zealand and France it's really not acceptable it's not to say you won't see people coming back from a jogging in the grocery store but I have never seen somebody go to the grocery store for example in their pajamas here no even active wear is yeah. quite rare yeah mm -hmm. like you don't just don't see it as much and so they're just your Frenchmen are always like very well groomed mm. so right away they get up in the morning and they change and they put I mean obviously everyone has their own style but for Robin he puts on his little like button up and he puts on his cardigan mm. and he's got his like nice shoes and it's nine in the morning and yeah. I'm like laying around in my sweats like looking like no, ridiculous. They always look so smart. I've noticed that as yeah. well. They don't hang around all day long on a Sunday yeah. for example slobbing around in pajamas. No. That, like that has never ever happened to me else. Number nine is one that works out fabulously for me because <laughs> I am not always a timely person. I'm not like the person who's going to arrive 35 minutes late for a dinner or something but I definitely border on like it's been 10 minutes 
minutes or it's 15 minutes late. And in France, um, it's totally acceptable like, yeah. culturally to be a little bit late. So with French men, it's okay that they say like, we need to be out the door at 8.30 and at 8.45, you're still like pulling on your last shoe and, <laughs> and running around. Like there's never any tension about that because mm -hmm. I think they're just so used to it and accepting of the fact that it can be yeah. late. Yes, France as a time flexible culture works, <laughs> which works out <laughs> really, it. really well for me also. And I do appreciate, yeah, that there's no, there's not so much stress and complaining like, yeah. oh, I'm meant to be out the door, like get running and stuff. It's like everything's just a little bit more chilled. Yeah, and it's okay. Laid back. We'll be right. <laughs> So our final thing that we love about dating Frenchmen is the fact that we are constantly learning something every day and that goes both ways but because we come from different cultures and we weren't necessarily raised the same way and we have different views about things and mm. strengths and weaknesses are very very different it's just a constant uh learning curve yeah it's so yeah it's really enjoyable it's something I, yeah. I enjoy the most is that they have different references, so you, you're you always discovering new music, yeah. new jokes, new classic films that aren't classic at all to you, you know, that meant something, you know, meant a lot to them growing up, and you just, yeah, you, you it's almost like you get to live two lives in some ways, because you have two different cultures happening in parallel, yeah. and you get to play with both, yeah. that's really great. Thanks for watching guys. Don't hesitate to check out Rosie's channel, uh, Not Even French. You'll find the link down below. And of course there is an article that is up on my blog about the same topic but with some things that we didn't cover in the video. So don't hesitate to check it out. The link's also below. It's unintentionallyfrenchified.com. Mm. And because it's Valentine's Day today, we're sending you double the love and there'll be a video on my channel which is going to be about the things that we adore about France. So make sure you yes. go and check that out. The link will be down below. Happy Valentine's Day! Happy, see you! A bientôt!